We are talking about the protests going on right now in China. You've you know, been tracking this for quite some time. How different is this to some of the other protests we've seen? Is momentum well, shifting? Well, I think, first of all, I would say I'm very inspired. Uh, I'm thrilled, but at the same time, terrified because people are going to the street. They're no longer just say, you know, I wanted the COVID restrictions to be lifted or I don't want the pollution. I want more pay for my job. People are saying, I want freedom, I want human rights, I want democracy, and I want President Xi Jinping to step down. I want the end of the Communist Party rule. This is, you know, extraordinary. Uh, we all know the government has a history of brutally cracking down on people who demand for their rights um, for democracy. The most notable example is the 1989 TMS Square massacre. Right, right. People went to the street and say, you know, we want democracy. Then the government dispatched the tanks to roll over people's body. And and of course, you know, we've seen in Hong Kong as well that some of the democracy protests there um, did not necessarily result in, um, you know, the types of freedoms people were asking for. Um, is she vulnerable? I mean, there's obviously what the people on the street say, and then there are the people within, you know, the Communist Party, um, you know, he is now uh, basically into his third term. Do you get some sense that this is just, an, these are protests that once again will be put down, or is there an indication that um, he might actually be vulnerable? Well, I mean, the Chinese political system is extremely opaque, so we don't know the dynamics within the party. Maybe people around him is unhappy with him already, given, you know, he just claimed a third term for himself and he has been, uh, you know, grabbed more and more power uh, to himself for the past 10 years. But, uh, you know, for so people outside of the system, we can't really have a view of that. Um, but at the same time, I would say, you know, um, the the government has um, done a great job in controlling the society, in eliminating uh, any kind of independent voice in the past 10 years um, through internet censorship, through surveillance. Um, you know, now there's no, no any kind of uh, substantive civil society groups that can play a role to organize people, to make the movement sustainable. Right now, it's just people who are so frustrated, so angry, so they just went to the street to, to protest spontaneously. But in order for any kind of uh, you know movement to sustain, um, you need some kind of organizing uh, ability, some kind of organizing infrastructure there. But in China, you know, that's not possible.